But first, we're following developing news now. The search for this missing Bristol police officer is over. This as some of his fellow officers search for him in Costa Rica. His body washed ashore earlier tonight. He was there on vacation when the tragedy occurred at sea. I'm Dan Janey. And I'm Patrice Wood. The news devastating for family members. The night team's Matt Reed broke the story. He talked with family tonight. Matt. Patrice, Dan, an absolute tragedy for the family and friends of Bristol police officer Richard Jean Georges. Sadness, grief. Uh, um, I lost my brother. After days of waiting, hoping for a miracle. It was the news Hensley, Elize, and the rest of Richard Jean George's family feared the most. We grew up together. So, like, he's not only my cousin, he's my brother. Richard was last seen Saturday night swimming with his brother and cousin at the beach near their hotel on Hako Beach. A rip current took Richard and his younger brother Manny out to sea. Manny was rescued, but Richard went missing. Costa Rican authorities began searching by land and sea, working with the U.S. Embassy and State Department. And on Tuesday, a team of Bristol police officers flew down to help. But just hours later, Richard's body washed ashore. I got that gut-wrenching feeling again, and the tears came. Eunice Neal's daughter, Linda, drowned in the waters off Hako Beach last year. The 50-year-old from Lincoln was in the country working at an orphanage when she died. I just keep wondering, why don't the Costa Rican authorities do something. It's a tragedy that Jeff Dunn Savage of the Missing Americans Project says is way too common in Costa Rica. It's, it's a routine occurrence. Uh, according to the, um, the Costa Rican government, uh, 50 to 60 tourists drown uh, in their country uh, every year. Dunn Savage believes Richard is now the second American and the 10th person total to drown in Costa Rica this month. But family and friends want everyone to know Richard is more than just a number, and he won't be forgotten. He was, a, he was a good guy, and he was loved, and he's going to be missed by, by many. Now, there's a GoFundMe account that's set up for the family of Richard Jean Georges. If you would like to donate, we put that link on turn to 10com In the newsroom, Matt Reed, NBC10 News.